The 20th ASEAN Finance Ministers Meeting or AFMM and 2nd AFMGM began aiming to tighten financial cooperation. According to Lao Minister of Finance Dr. Lian Tikeo, protocol to implement the 7th package of commitments on financial services will be among the top documents at the upcoming meeting. On 4th April 2016 in Vientiane capital of the Lao PDR, the 20th ASEAN Finance Ministers Meeting or AFMM and the 2nd ASEAN Finance Ministers and Central Bank Governors Joint Meeting or AFMGM were held. It was the 2nd AFMGM after previously only the representatives from central banks of ASEAN countries were invited to AFMM. The issues discussed in the AFMGM are issues considered as major concerns for the finance ministers and central bank governors of ASEAN. <laughs> According to Lao Minister of Finance Dr. Lian Tikeo, protocol to implement the seventh package of commitments on financial services will be among the top documents at the ASEAN Finance Ministers and Central Governors Meeting or AFMGM held from April 3rd to 4th. The document which included insurance and banking will be signed in May in Frankfurt, Germany. The Strategy Action Plan on ASEAN Monetary and Financial Integration Framework 2016-2025 will be adopted at the meeting, saying the document will be one of several documents to be adopted by ASEAN leaders at the ASEAN Summit, which will take place in September. The meeting will also adopt the framework of the ASEAN Insurance Working Group and the framework of the ASEAN Working Group on Financial Access. At both the AFMM and the AFMGM, ASEAN ministers and bank governors from ASEAN countries will discuss with representatives from international finance institutions on the situation of the world economy, the economy in the region and also challenges to economic growth. According to the governor of Bank of the Lao PDR, Sumpao Faisit, they will examine financial cooperation in ASEAN, which includes the ASEAN Infrastructure Fund, insurance cooperation, cooperation in customs, taxation and anti-money laundering, and combating the financing of terrorism, capital market development, capital account liberalization, financial services, and payment and settlement systems within ASEAN. The outcome of the meeting will contribute to the development and integration of the ASEAN finance and monetary sectors, which would facilitate production, trade and investment in the single market of ASEAN, which conform to the theme, turning vision into reality for a dynamic ASEAN community.